Are you a middle school math teacher kind of panicked because you haven't covered all of your Common Core standards before the state test? What if I told you that I have a resource for you that could help you cover all of the standards that you need to cover before state testing time? If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade math and Algebra 1. It's true. I have a resource for you that will help you cover every single one of your 6th, 7th, and 8th grade Common Core standards. Are you curious? Do you want to know what it is? Okay, I'm going to show you, but if you want to grab it right now, use the link in the description box below and grab it because it's going to save you a ton of time, stress, and it's going to make you feel a whole lot more I don't know, less panicky <laughs> um, with covering your standards. Now, the full resource is huge. So this resource that you're about to grab is just a piece of it because it's too big for me to be able to send you via email. However, it will cover the whole resource. Um, if you choose to grab it, will cover every single standard. This resource that you're about to, to download and grab if you wanna grab it for free is again, a piece of it, but it will get you started. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. And this resource is set up like tic-tac-toe. So you can use this individually with your students. Your students can you know, do the whole page by themselves. Your students can play in partners like they would with tic-tac-toe with one student you know, being the X value, one person being the O value, and then they get the three in the row. And what I like to do is even if a student wins and gets three in a row, they still have to kind of divvy up the rest of the problems because there will be some that they don't answer. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to share my screen with you. So this is what it looks like. This is the seventh grade activity. So you can see here, this is seven, seven. So this covers the seventh grade. Now, the way that this works, the, the way that this covers all of the common core standards is this one page covers multiple standards. So this covers ratios and proportions, number systems, equations, and geometry. The way that this is set up is that all of the questions along the perimeter of the paper are multiple choice and the center question is an open ended question, hence why this says you know uh, draw a rectangle that has a scale factor of 1.5. While the rest of them are multiple choice if you scroll down, this is the answer key for this sheet above. If you keep going, you will get access to the six one page of the sixth grade activity with an answer key and then one page of the eighth grade activity. So no matter what you're teaching, whether it's sixth, seventh or eighth grade, you will get access to one of the pages. The full activity includes, gosh, um, 10 pages each. So it really makes sure that you cover everything. And what I love about this, I start using this activity um, a few months before state testing so that my students will start to hear things like, scale factor, for example. So if we don't get to the full geometry portion of my curriculum, which sometimes it just happens, we run out of time and I just don't get to it. At least I know for sure that at some point during the last few weeks or last few months, we've talked about scale factor. We've talked about some of these standards that maybe I didn't have a chance to really dive deeper into, but they kind of are familiar with it, right? And I can take this activity and we can we can open up and talk more about something if they're like, what does that mean? What is scale factor? We can kind of dive a little bit deeper into it without having to go through a full lesson, you know, if we just haven't gotten there yet. So again, I hope that you grab this activity. Again, it's a piece of a larger, um, Tic Tac Math State Test Prep Pack. Um, if you want to grab the entire pack, I'm going to put it in the description box below. But if you just want to grab this portion of it, get started. It is here for you to use today. Again, my name is Kathy Martin. I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math Membership, and I'll see you next time.